Hello, this is Steve Shaw for AcrylicPouring.com and today I'm going to do a primary pour. And what I be, mean by that is I'm going to be using the three primary colors, uh, red, yellow, and blue. And the paint that I'm going to be using, I'm testing out a new paint. It's Bulk Acrylic by NASCO. It was very reasonably priced and I got it off of uh, Amazon. And here's the Thalo Blue. And chrome yellow these are the half gallon bottles and the third is red it's called bright red i don't remember exactly what i paid for these but i promise you if i bought them they were very reasonably priced first when i took my paint though that paint that came out of those jugs was thick as peanut butter so i've had to thin it out with some water and uh let's just go ahead and move down and show you what i got going on so here's my canvas it's a 16 by 20 canvas, and uh, I have poured my paints into my three cups, 16 ounce cups. And again, I was really surprised by how thick the paint was that came out of those original half gallon uh, bottles. So I've really had to cut these down a lot with uh, water, but as you can see, they're still pretty darn thick. They're almost as thick as syrup. So I'm gonna pour these into some smaller cups and I may need to add a little bit more water. And um, I tend, I've been using some Floetrol in the past. I ran out of that, so I've been using a little bit of the Zinser Paint Booster, which is supposed to make give the, uh, the paint more flowability. So uh, let's get mixing and see what we end up with. Okay, starting off with some blue. And again, right now I'm just pouring into these cups. I'm about a third of the way, maybe a little bit more. And I'll see if I think I need to add any more to that. I'm really curious to see what's going to happen with just the, the three primaries. That's pretty thick, so I'm actually going to hit this with a little bit of water. I've just got a cup of water over here. I've heard a lot of places have to use distilled water or bottled water, but the water here in Atlanta, Georgia, where I am, is uh, seems to be pretty good. It's not hard water at all. So. All right, that is still pretty thick, but I think it'll be okay. Gonna add some red, or actually transfer some red. Really thick, so I'm gonna add some water to that. Thin it out a bit. And before I pour, I actually I will hit this, and when I get all three of them in here, I'll hit it with a little bit of that uh, Zinser Paint Booster to give it some more flowability. A little bit of water because I know these are thin. All right, so now I'm going to move my larger cups of the thicker primaries out of the way and my cup of just regular old water leaving me with the red and the yellow and the blue. Okay, so I keep my uh, Zinser Paint Booster in just a little squirt bottle. Just makes it easier to hold on to. Um, where I found this, there's two squirts there, two squirts there, two squirts there. Um, the, I have a Lowe's close to my house and uh, Lowe's for some reason does not keep Floetrol, does not sell Floetrol. So right where you would normally find the Floetrol, I found this Zinser paint booster and when I read the label it seems to do the same thing but um, it's sort of a clear blue color instead of that creamy white of the Floetrol and you also don't apparently don't need nearly as much of it so I just use it as an additive to my paint so this is all right this is blowing pretty good yeah so I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of silicone in each one of these cups. Uh, normally, you know, you would use a white or a black. Most people would use a white to mix in with this. I'm just sticking with the primaries, primary pour. So I'm gonna go with one, a good little shot of silicone there. Good squeeze, good squeeze. And this is uh, oh, the silicone I just picked up at the Lowe's. All right, I'm gonna do a just a little cross swipe on that. For the red, I'm actually gonna give that a good swirl. And honestly, I've, I've made several poor paintings and I have not come up with any surefire 
a recipe that makes certain cells or certain size. So I just kind of mix it up and just see what see what fate brings me. So got a nice big 16 ounce cup and I'm just gonna rotate these in. I'm gonna do a layer of blue, layer of yellow. Ooh, that yellow is sinking pretty fast. Layer of red, and I'm just kind of pouring it straight in. Now the blue is still sitting on the top, so that's telling me that the red and the yellows are heavier and kind of sinking down below it. It's funny, and I keep adding the blue. You know what? I'm gonna stop with the blue and go more red and more yellow. One of the things I'm always worried about, especially if you add a lot of different colors, you know, if you mix all the colors together, you get a beautiful shade of bleh, just kind of a yucky brown color. So you really don't want that to happen and hopefully it won't here. All right, so I've got finishing off my red, setting that out of the way. Got a little nice shot of yellow here. I cut the blue short again because it was sitting on top and looking really strong and I didn't want to overpower the pour. Okay, that's looking nice in there. I think you can kind of see what's going on in there. We're gonna go ahead and do this as a flip cup. I'm gonna add a little bit of silicone right on the top of this, kind of a crisscross pattern because when I flip over, the paint on the top will be what's trying to come to the surface. So, got my paint, got my 16 by 20 canvas, flip it over down into my pour box, which should keep most of the drippings in with a little bit of luck. All right, this is my favorite part. This is where universes are made. And pull. Wow. Okay, it's pretty dark, but that is pretty stinking cool right there. I'm gonna get this up in the camera. Wow, look at those cells that are coming in there. The red is looking strong. The yellow, not a lot of strong yellow in there, but it's in there. All right, so I'm gonna work this around a little bit. Again, one of the things I love about acrylic pour painting is that you don't get to control it. I always say as the artist, you get to choose the canvas size, you get to choose the colors, but then the paint does the rest. So I'm just tilting this, moving it around. <laughs> This is, this is beautiful up in here. All right, I it is, I'm a little worried. This red, red is staying really fresh. I'm getting some darker reds back in this area that's getting a little dark for me, but we're gonna stretch this down here. Again, I'm just tilting the canvas to get to all my corners, all my sides covered. Wow, I'm gonna tilt this. The red up in this corner is just delicious. Wow, all right, one more tilt down here. All right, so I'm gonna tilt a little bit longer because I'm holding it on my cups down here in my, my pour box. Um, so down through here, again, it's pretty dark. I wanna minimize that sort of dark brick kind of red, especially when I have this beautiful bright slap you in the face red over here. And again, I've got some good rich blues. Oh, and I don't, let me see if you can get up in the top here. Um, up in this area, we're getting some beautiful cells. All right, gonna tip a little bit down to the right. Wow, this looks good. I got one more little corner down here that I haven't gotten the paint over to quite yet. Um, surface tension is what holds the paint together. So I'm gonna just see if I can break that a little bit scoop up a little bit of this and just kind of rub it on and let it flow. All right, this is looking good. Really like the yellow coming through. So, wow. There's some also some really, really pretty cells coming up in this bottom corner right where my thumb is here. So, I would say, I would say this is already a success. And I always joke that I should leave stuff alone, but leaving things alone is not my strong suit. So I'm gonna grab my torch, and I actually use a bigger propane torch uh, rather than the small little um, 
cooking torch, creme brulee, brulee torch, whatever it's called, um, just because I already had one. So here we go, firing up my torch. Well, let's see if we can get some more cells out of this. That's just popping up tons of little cells right in there. We'll work our way through. Ooh, it's funny. I guess the thicker paint right here, I'm hitting that, and it's making that red pop out of there even more. So I'm going to work that a little bit more because it looks beautiful. I tend to pour my paint pretty thin and I wonder if uh, thicker paint maybe give, wow that's pretty, might give more cells. All right, so there it is, a primary pour, again, just using red, yellow, and blue with NASCO bulk, bulk acrylic uh, paint, and I think it turned out beautiful. Let's get this in there. The colors are great. The cells look really, really good, and I hope you've enjoyed watching its creation. Uh, I do appreciate you watching this video, and feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you like the content, of course, please hit subscribe. Also, pretty much every painting you see in my uh, videos is available at my Etsy store. So you could go to Etsy.com and search for Art by Steve Shaw if you'd like to purchase one. Thanks. Bye.